Welcome back. There are many fun events to look forward to during the month of October, like going to the apple orchard or the pumpkin patch. Boo at the zoo is another popular event here in the capital city, and tickets are now on sale. Joining us now with more is Erin Lenz with the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Thank you for being here, Erin. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, we always love featuring <laughs> stuff from the zoo. What's going on with Boo at the Zoo? What, what, what all happens in that event? Yeah, so Boo at the Zoo is Lincoln's largest trick or treat event. Um, it's super fun. We have different booths from various community businesses that come and we have over 40 booths that kids can just walk around the zoo and trick or treat in. So it's just a really fun event. Um, and if you're a zoo member, you actually get tickets to it for free. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, so when is this happening then? Yeah, so every year it happens October 26th to, to October 30th, um, and it's from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. every one of those nights, except for Sunday during the day. We also have daytime hours as well. Okay, yeah. and you said that members can get tickets for free, but yes. when can other people, or where can other people get tickets? Yeah, so everyone can get tickets at lincolnzoo.org. So for members, they do get admission tickets for free. They still have to purchase treat bags and train rides if they'd like a train ride. Um, and you can do all of that at lincolnzoo.org. Um, and members do still have to reserve their tickets in advance. So even though they're free, we do recommend that you go and you get those tickets reserved. All right. But it's a really fun event. It's been a community staple for years. Um, it's one of my favorites because I get to watch kids and families <laughs> dress up in their fun costumes and just walk around the zoo and you know you get candy there are businesses that hand out coupons um, we've got fun extra like giveaway items that they give away as well and this year we'll also have a runs a food truck out the front so if you want to get dinner and then go trick-or-treating that's perfect perfect opportunity to do that all right and I mean, the zoo doesn't end once the <laughs> hot weather ends. There's still a lot going on in the fall. What else is happening at the zoo? Yeah, we have a lot going on pretty much always. <laughs> we are open year round. So even if you are coming, want to come to the zoo and it's cold outside and we've got multiple indoor buildings, we've got indoor giraffe feedings. Um, so the zoo doesn't just close after October. Uh, it is year round. And pretty soon we'll also be talking about zoo lights. So zoo lights powered by LES is our holiday lights event. Um, and tickets for those are going to be on sale by the end of this month. So we're going to be transitioning over from Halloween to holiday uh, and Christmas time pretty quickly. Isn't it crazy how quickly that switches? <laughs> You're like, all right, it's fall. All right, it's yes. Christmas. Yes, <laughs> last year our, we had Boo at the Zoo, and then the day after that I was helping set up uh, Christmas lights. So, <laughs> yes, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty fast transition, but, you know, we've always got things going on. So it's perfect time to, you know, go on our website, look at the different events that we have coming up, and get your membership as well. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing details about Boo at the Zoo. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you, Erin.